absolute beanage. Oh, wait, I just realized I need to hide the source for the game because we didn't join the game before I... <laughs> I totally forgot that we needed to do that. Gotta relaunch. No, I don't have to relaunch. I mean, sorry, reopen the world. Yeah. I'm just hi I'm hiding the source so that, uh... We can do this... Real quick. It's exciting. Society. That, that is a beautiful black color right there. <laughs> oh, favorite streamer just went live. Watch now. <laughs> ad. I didn't ask for an ad. Especially about ketchup. <laughs> you got an ad about ketchup? Mm-hmm. Spoods, do you want to give another cringy, uh... YouTube intro. Hit us with that. Maybe get hit us with the heart. YouTube intro. Intro. Jim. I mean, would you rather me give my super generic intro? If you want me to give you the cringy intro, I can give you the cringy intro. I'm just making sure that you that this is what you want. G give give me the content, Spoods. And watch me die inside as you, <laughs> as you say the words. What's going on, guys? How's it hanging? We're back with another episode of Terraria. We're here with the squad. Let's get into it. I also just realized that you might have been picking up on my mic. <laughs> I think I'm becoming desensitized, and that concerns me. Don't worry, it hurt me. <laughs> so the real question is, are we gonna, like, call this series done when we get to Moon Lord? Like, once we've beaten Moon Lord, or...? I think that's something we decide when we get there. Eh, that's fair. There is a lot more than Moon Lord to do, so... You can always go through and do, like, every boss. You can do all the events and whatnot. Yeah, but doing all the events would require us to mess around with the uh, clocks on our computers, right? Uh... Sometimes. I mean, we can do Pumpkin Moon pretty... I mean, we're not good for it yet, actually. Do if we have the item the for it? Medallion, the pumpkin moon medallion. Yeah, we can grab we all the resources it. from it. And then, well, right after pumpkin moon comes the Christmas stuff. So then we just grab the stuff. Oh, great. We grab all the stuff that we need for the snow moon or whatever it's called. I've forgotten. Frost moon? Frost yeah. moon. Yeah. Like, we can gather all the materials we need to create the summon item. The difficult thing is that the Pumpkin Moon Medallion requires Ectoplasm. And I don't know if that's, like, if that's just hard mode, or if that's, like, pre- that's, or post. That's post Plantera Dungeon. post Plantera Dungeon. Yeah, that might be a little difficult to do in the time frame we have. I mean, if nothing else, like... It's entirely possible. You two have, like, fully fleshed out characters, don't you? I'm a few I heart crystals of off. Plasm in another world, if that's what you're asking. Oh, that... Yeah, we can just- we can do that. Yeah, that- I thought you were talking about current character. <laughs> nah, I'm- I'm four heart crystals off of being... ...capped at HP for now. I'm eight, boy. You're eight away. Yeah. Hey, so uh, we're planning on doing Skeletron, like, soon, right? Yeah, I would say think, so. Think either prepared to or have done it by the end of this stream. That feels about right, I think. Hey, Spruce, why are we running off in this direction? <laughs> so I need. I'm at. 13 stingers and 11 jungle spores. And I Great, so we both need jungle materials. <laughs> yeah, I need to get for the... What's the sword oh, called? Is it the... Blade of grass. Blade of grass, yeah. 
or grass blade. Something about grass pun. Gotta get me some some materials for the knight's edge. Jimble's question for you. Potential Have you answer. been in the uh, underground area on the left side of the map at all? No. Hmm. Maybe I'll actually head off in that direction. Is it? Do we have untapped land? We have a very large portion of untapped land on both sides, actually. I mean, the most exploring I've done is like straight down the elevator and then at the bottom of the jungle. Hmm. Wait, where's the up from here? Uh, we go down. There is no up. We're near the surface. Oh, okay. Um, what was it the that down I was for? Uh, I don't know if anyone's made one yet, because you and I came up. <laughs> what? What did we? What did you need, Spoods? Entry point. Uh, a new way to get down in the jungle. I see a pit, and I dig into the pit. It's no, I'm pretty sure that everybody just went through the uh, underground section. Oh, hello. Uh, magic mirror, extractinator, some shurikens, reap call potions, nothing super exciting. You let me down, Terraria. How could you? I thought we were friends. How dare you give me a generic, exciting chest? Is that I forget. Behind? Yes. What is the, um... What is the item that lets you dash? Is that the black Shield belt? Uh, black belt too. If you have a shield of Cthulhu, you should be able to dash. Well, I don't have the accessory slots for that currently. Oh, that's a hive. Let's ignore that. <laughs> you don't want to fight Queen Bee again? I don't want to pull off another another one of those. Once we get geared, we can do Queen Bee again. So, um, question. What do you two have in terms of armor? Uh, right now I'm uh, wearing Obsidian Outlaw. Shadow stuff. Do either... There's a uh, Hell Butterfly here. Do you have a Lava Bug Net? I do not. Oh, right. I killed it by accident. Good God, fishing in lava. Oh, what fortunate <laughs> timing. That one wasn't my fault. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, everyone's favorite enemy, the imp that teleports. Don't mind me as I just dash headstrong in danger. As one does. Hopolite. I'm trying to get my uh, remaining. I need some more hellstone so I can make the last piece of hellstone armor I need. Offensive in expert mode. And even more so in master. Curse you, master mode. Hello, wasp. Give me your stinger. I require it for definitely not malicious purposes. Spoods, are you sitting a bit far away from your mic currently? I'm sitting the same distance I always sit from there. Huh. Maybe it's just because I had to turn my speaker down. I can move it closer if you need me to. I mean, it might help a little bit, but I don't know how it sounds on stream. I just gotta make sure that it doesn't get in the way of my mouse. There you go, is that better? A little bit, Demonic yeah. Demonic mic noises. Oh, did you hear it dragging against the table? My bad. I didn't. Spiky slime boy, give me your steamers. I need it. Oh no, you're a mother slime. 
unfortunately unspiky slime. The supreme lack of spike is felt. Hello, spores. Don't mind if I do. Or the hit evolution game in Terraria? Epic. I think you mean, uh, Spore, that game that absolutely nobody remembers? I think you'd be surprised how, just how many people remember it. I remember it vaguely. I barely remember it, and I played it. I remember it, and I did not play it. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a reverse memetic? The more experience you had with it, the harder it is to remember. It checks out. Maddie, what if you had a wild and violent like shift in what your stream does and just became an SCP readout stream? I mean, you say that, but technically speaking, I'm a variety streamer, so... Have you done a readout yet? Uh, no, but I there's a thing that's been going around Twitter lately that some of my friends have been doing that's uh, called the Script Challenge. It's basically just people writing scripts for people to do. Ah, shit. Bone snakes are awful, and I hate them. They bring dishonor to the fine land of hell. Once the foot relaxes, we will gain access to the excellent lands. Maybe I should stream, like, Doom 2016 one of these days. I just dropped 13 gold. I mean, you have been hell exploring. Hell what? is filled with gold. Jimbles, would you say that Doom 2016 would make a good stream game? Yeah. Do you think Doom Eternal would make a better stream game? <laughs> yeah. I'm used to an older version of Terraria's crafting. Hey oh. Nautilus, how are you doing? The blade of grass is not nearly as expensive as I thought it was. Oh, I think they actually changed it like this last update. How I are you doing today, Nautilus? It was 15 stingers and 20 jungle spores, but it's cheaper. Rip and tear until it is done. <laughs> it's 12 stingers, 15 jungle spores, and 3 vines. Oh, right, it's a blood moon. I mean, I am going oh, yeah. to hell currently, Nautilus. Spiritually and in game. the oxygen. This water contains not enough oxygen. Oh, that's why. I still had some uh, gold from when I was buying stuff in my inventory.
<laughs> oh wow, this is just like the famous eight game Doom Eternal. Honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to streaming the Do like Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. It Doot seems like it would be fun. What? Doot 2014. I'm gonna play. <laughs> I'm gonna play uh, Doom 3 <laughs> as my first exposure to the Doom franchise. Do it, I dare you. <laughs> Don't even just say to the Doom franchise, just exposure to the Doom. <laughs> give me that mining shirt. The undead miner, give me the shirt. Oh, he gave me a bomb! I wanted his lucrative apparel. There aren't, like, a limit of how many shadow chests can spawn in the underworld, right? Not like a hard cap, but there's... It's limited resource per world. Okay, so zoologist? Kinda cracked. For damage? She's just tanking these things. Man, you really feel not having, uh, ranger armor when using a gun. Or at least the mini shark. I just got a metal detector from a nymph. Bones chew down a little bit. Just a little nibble. By who? So I am just one vine short. Of course I'm one thing short. Of course. Oh goody. Rotten eggs from both of those goody bags. I mean you can use those to kill NPCs. Hello, Romeo. Howdy, you Juliet. The floating island, didn't you? Hello, Romeo. Oh. May I set you up with one of my award-winning hot tubs? You're with the witch doctor <laughs> and the demolitionist. But hey, he doesn't realize it yet, but Believe you me, he's gonna be fascinated by our brand new, uh, how am I trying to word this? It's so new, I don't know how to advertise it yet. Cutting edge. Oh yeah, I love it when I accidentally am carrying 22 gold on me and didn't realize it. <laughs> Nice. Thank you, Goblin Tinkerer. You didn't steal all my money this time, only most of it. Look, Romeo, this is the deal of a lifetime. Juliet would get mad at you if you turned down a deal such as this. Hey, How uh, into Shakespeare do you think Terraria NPCs get? That's a good question. I just, I just got the uh, Xenomorph costume from a goodie bag. No. Heck yeah. I also got rotten eggs. Less nice, but you know, 15 ranged damage, not bad. I guess what I just got from a goodie bag? Rotten eggs. <laughs> the xenomorph costume in rotten eggs? <laughs> <laughs> this episode is secretly scripted. Wait, we can't use this joke. We did last time. <laughs> 
<laughs> we totally did use that joke last time, didn't we? I totally forgot about that. <laughs> well, there we go. And now I have a whip that does more damage than a sword. Jeez, that reach. Me and my entourage off to go to the ocean to finally fish. Where's my fishing rod? It better be in my piggy bank. Okay, it is. Where's my A&W? Mug root beer. The root beer argument is a wildly intense one. Or you could be British and just not like root beer at all. I mean, there's a few other problems with being British. Just trying to start an argument here. Don't mind me. <laughs> Apparently there's some sort of medicine in the UK that tastes like root beer. And so it puts people off of drinking root beer because it tastes like medicine. Well, look, I mean, it's also England's fault for cherry-flavored medicine, so... Were we surprised? The child's foods in my the deepest reaches of my mind has some severe PTSD for cherry flavored medicine. Let me tell you. I'm a, I'm about to hit you with a controversial take, Spoods. I don't think cherry flavored medicine is that bad. So here, ladies and gentlemen, watching the stream, we encounter a demon in its natural habitat. <laughs> now nah, I'm a witch, Spoods. I mean, aren't they pretty well related? As if there's nothing wrong. I think it's pretty hard to get a witch without a demon, according to most standard witch lore. Like, are you, are you, like, serious? You don't mind cherry-flavored medicine? Yeah. Strange. I'm gonna hit you with possibly another even more controversial take. I don't think grape-flavored medicine is that bad, either. And I hate grape-flavoring. Someone who grew up with not much sugar in their diet, as long as it had sugar in it, I would drink it happily. Hello. Hi. Spoods, is this is this how we expand the mythos behind me? You I got my magic from a demon or some shit. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I just... There's something shady about somebody that doesn't mind cherry-flavored medicine. Something just a little off-putting, you know? <laughs> a little bit unnerving. <laughs> can't be- can't be too cautious these days. <laughs> See, here we go. This is the new and improved model of the hot tub. It's actually cold, not hot. So it's great for muscle building, if you're into that. The grind never stops. Imagine not dousing yourself in cold water after a hot shower. Imagine dousing yourself in water. This post was made by Dazzling Yourself and Rubbing Alcohol Gang. Hey, Jim Bulls, you need another hat? <laughs> I would wear this one, to be honest. <laughs> My favorite thing is that Spoots hat. hasn't given me a hat yet. <laughs> Wait, what? I haven't gotten one yet, Spoots. I have two given you one. You have not given me a hat. Yes, I have. 
We have sold at least four hot tubs. Where did one of these hats go? I gave you a hat, but then I gave you cat ears, so whatever you did with your hat is... No, Spoods, you gave... I made a comment about this last stream, and you gave it to Jimbles first. Because you, you, it was the exact same thing. You were like, wait, you don't have a hat? Found the meteor. Oh, you found the meteor? It is in the jungle. Oh, fun. I hope you like dealing with meteor heads and jungle bats. We Underrated song the from the Terraria now. soundtrack, the uh, Snow Biome Underground theme. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Terraria soundtrack acapella. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll release as my first album. <laughs> Through all the stuff I've been working on, we're going acapella. What is your favorite block in the ice biome, and why is it the uh, ice that breaks if you fall on it from high height? It makes such a good noise. My favorite thing about it is the, uh... You can, like, Sometimes, if you're lucky, in ice biomes, you can find giant vertical rooms of nothing but that ice. And you fall in it, and it goes... <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't have Wall of Flesh done. Nope. I keep thinking that we have Wall of Flesh done, but we very much do not. No, that's still a little ways off. I mean, technically speaking, if we bum-rush Skeletron, we might be able to make it to Wall tonight. Yeah, we could. It's a lot of work. You say that like we didn't beat four bosses last stream. Or three Point. bosses, not four. Points conceded. Are any of you guys into DC at all? Like, DC superheroes? Yeah. Or like, DC the power. Like, DC AC. DC <laughs> superheroes. Because I completely dig electric current. DC direct current. I don't blame you. Doesn't stuff nowadays use AC, though? Uh, most- almost all household electronics use DC. Yeah, but isn't, uh, AC what's used to, like, uh, transfer it over a longer distance? I use AC over the, the power lines, but then there's, uh, either transformers in home or transformers built into, like, your charger blocks. Huh. Not, not transformers, sorry. Uh, rectifiers. Interesting. But what about DC? The comic, this time. <laughs> on Black Adam yesterday. Oh, that came out. Holy crap, it's such a good movie. Wait, we actually got a decent superhero movie in the year 2022? That was unfortunate. That was nine gold. I have located the ocean. I mean... 
What is even what is, what superhero movies have even come out this year, Jimbles? Thor Ragnarok. Uh, or not, it's not Ragnarok. It's the Love and Thunder. Oh yeah, my bad. Ragnarok was decent. I've heard that Love and Thunder isn't bad. I've heard pretty much nothing but negative reviews, but then again, I also tend to stand the pessimistic side of the internet. Nah. Everybody likes to clown on it, but Robert Pattinson's The Batman is, mmm, 10 out of 10 Batman movie. I haven't seen that one yet either, come to think of it. What the heck? I'm Is that this year too? Wasn't that like really early this year? Yeah, it was March. Hmm. Less early than I thought, but still early. It was supposed to be October 2021, but you know how things went that year. That, <laughs> yeah, you know. That uh, that Batman movie has existed for longer than me streaming on Twitch. <laughs> Is this a common trend in us, that we just keep comparing things to, like, age of things to odd other things? Like that one thing I said the other night, while well, I may or may not have had alcohol. I'm trying to remember what the other thing was, but... Something... It's my brother. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, seen it yet. oh sorry. I was just gonna say, would it like does it really surprise you, Jimbles? It's it's just one of those things that I've never paid attention to until you guys pointed out that I said that the other night, and now I just keep we keep saying stuff. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's fun. It's fun to like liken things to other things. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, what were you going to say, Spoods? I haven't seen it yet, but Warner Brothers Animation's annual DC animated movie came out. I think this past week, too. Battle of the Super Sons. Huh. Oh, yeah, I heard a, I heard about this one. And I was actually Robin versus interested. Superman's kid, because I guess Superman has a kid now. I mean, Superman's had a kid for a while, technically. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> I knew about Crypto. <laughs> Grew up with Crypto. Classic Super Dog. Crap, wasn't there a Super Dog movie that came out or is coming out? One of the yeah, two? Yeah, it, it's already out. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, though. League of Super Pets. That's the one. I need to see it because apparently it's better than the trailers made it seem. That's shocking. Four hundredth zombie. But I mean, it's one of those big things too. It's just like a comedy and whatnot. It's Dwayne Johnson as Crypto and Kevin Hart as the Bat Dog. So. They do play off each other really well in other movies they've been in together. You they have didn't. A point. They didn't give us a uh, Bat Cow. Oh darn! So, uh, zero Not out of worth ten. seeing now. What? Not worth seeing now. While we're on the topic of movies, uh, something interesting and whatnot. Do you want to know? This is this is my own personal opinion, but it's still something that I thought was funny. Do you know how I can tell that critics, uh, their opinion doesn't mean anything? You better hit me with some hardcore nihilism here. Did you know that Kronk's new groove has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes? Hello. I see where you're coming from now. That is devastating. I mean... I get that it's nowhere near as good as Emperor's New Groove, but gosh dang it, Kronk deserved his own movie.
I just found a uh, mine shaft that connects with another mine shaft immediately underneath. Pick. I need to quit saying that. Why? I think I've said it four times since we've started recording. <laughs> Jimbles, I may or may not have a gift that you will enjoy. I may or may not be isolating the angler at the edge of the world. Damn. But why are you isolating the angler, Jimbles? The angler deserves nothing. The angler doesn't even deserve pain, because to give the angler pain would be to give the angler drive. That's some real hardcore hatred for the angler. I mean, to be fair, the angler was the only thing that was holding them back from 100% until this update came out. That's true, that's true. What stupid quest do you have for me? No, it's not even worth it because it would the quest would be over before morning. And if I ever want to see the angler again, I gotta travel all the way to the edge of the world. Or you could just wait until we get pylons and teleport. Screw it, I am moving the merchant into the edge of the world right now. Yes! I found the one thing I came here for! Fantastic. What have you found? Blizzard in a bottle. You going for the bundle? Yep. Uh, is the other one you need Tsunami, or is it Fart? Uh, I think it's Tsunami. Well, I have a Tsunami in a bottle. And I would be willing to trade. If you find Hermes boots, they're yours. Don't worry, I've been keeping my eye out for Hermes boots because playing Terraria without them kind of sucks. <laughs> it's not completely unsalvageable, but like, man, oh, Terraria oh, oh. without Hermes boots is so slow. Merchant, why aren't you selling the pylon? Because don't we need to be... in hard mode for that, Jimbles? I just have my no. bottles unplugged. You don't. It's just because the angler hates the... It's because the merchant hates the angler. I forgot. Just like everyone should. That's a new record right there, Maddie. What? 4,000 channel points. Go ahead and hit me with the redeem spoons. I haven't taken a sip of water since we started. Excuse me? Hydrate. That's a violation. Criminal scrum, you violated the law. Stop! You violated the law! <clears throat> Where'd the merchant go? I moved him. Oh. Yeah. I'm getting this pylon before I kill the angler. You moved him to the other end of the world. I'll bring him back, I promise. You know, this will actually be the first time I've ever gotten the equipment to make a bundle of balloons without having to, uh, scum items out of another world. Though, actually, I guess... Uh, don't you need... I guess you need four balloons, don't you? I should only need three. Uh, I thought it was four. I could very well be wrong, but last I remember, it's three. Does that mean that it only needs three of the in-a-bottle items? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so it can make uh... it work with just, um, the, 
uh, Cloud, Blizzard, and uh, Sandstorm. Oh yeah, those are the normal three. You, you don't need the Tsunami. Sorry, that's my bad. Forgot that Sandstorm exists. Oh. Oh hey, I got a uh, better mag- I got the better magic mirror. Ice magic mirror? Yeah. Yeah, that's the better one. Agreed. Just because it has a fancier sprite. <laughs> yeah, it's functionally identical, but the sprite work is just better. Uh, question. Who of you two are playing the, uh, melee? That would be Spoods. Spood, I have a, uh, item for you. Oh? I found an ice boomerang. Oh? 25 melee damage. It's a solid starting weapon, even though we aren't really starting. Get out of here, Angler. No one loves you. Leave. I don't know why when you said be gone, Angler, and whatnot, I just pictured the, the woodcutter from over the garden wall. <laughs> Is it because that one line... Oh yeah, I was thinking it's that one line where he's like, hold your tongue, and then he goes after the beast with an axe because he's a yeah. baller. With That's that still a show that I need to watch. Maddie, that is, it's on par with Gravity, uh, Gravity Falls. It's really a good one. It's, it's slightly more horror-oriented, Gravity Falls. Yeah. The Garden Wall is a solid nine. But what would you rate Gravity Falls? Gravity Falls, uh... Also a 9. Probably a 9, yeah. Hey, uh, Jimbles, remember that room I was talking about earlier that's the giant vertical ice room? You found one? Yeah. Nice. Alright, I've yeah. moved all the NPCs back to their proper housing. We just yes. have to leave the home for long enough for them to move in. Hey, uh, Jimbles, I found the other thing I was looking for in the ice biome. Yeah? I found ice skates. Oh, you're going for the Terra Sparks, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I've got some water waiting boot water walking boots. I will trade them for Hermes boots. <laughs> hey, Jimbles. Here is a gift that may or may not be useful, depending on whether or not you've actually found one yet. <laughs> I have not. That is a good one. That's going in loadout two. Oh, How high is the go. damage output on the um? Ah, uh, what's it called? The Ooh, swirlies. How high is the damage output on the ray gun? Uh, pre hard mode or post hard mode? Uh, what do you mean? The uh, ray gun is in the one that traveling merchant sells. No, ray gun is in the uh, meteorite gun. Oh, that one. Uh, it's not bad. It's it's one of those ones that's really good for skeletron fight. And then if you have the full meteorite suit, which you probably already know this, it's unlimited casting. Takes zero mana. Jimbles, what was that noise? What noise? Did you set a glass down? Did you set your cup down or something? <laughs> I set- it wasn't even the normal cup, what the heck? This one was just my A&W cup, it wasn't my drinking mug. Hey, uh, I found another set of ice skates. Oh, epic. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Well, I've got seven meteorite bars for you, just as a start. For me? Well, for whoever want- if you wanted to do the... ...ray gun. Spoods, how have we gone this long without fixing this error? What? The very bottom house. Its floor is still grass. Oh. 
frick? How did we not notice this for so long? <laughs> I don't know. I feel ashamed. Spoods was busy working on other stuff. Other projects. Alright. How much Hellstone bars do we have? Uh, we have a decent amount. Yeah, Maddie's been busy. Maddie, I appreciate it. I'm gonna steal... 20 of them. That's okay. You just making yourself a pickaxe, or...? Oh, oh yeah, we sword. Can... Spoods is going for the big sword. Wait, the fiery great sword is called the volcano now? They changed it? Yeah. Spoods, how much damage does that do? 42. Does it have a new... Well, if they changed the name, it probably got an overhaul. What does it look like? Let's come out to a big open area. It did not. <laughs> it just got a name change. <laughs> Good no job, overhaul. <laughs> Thank Put you. Put in the hours. Trolling us once again. I mean, it's would you expect slow. anything else from Redigit? No, nothing else. Oh, sweet, the merchant moved in. I like the swirlies that the blade of grass added, though. I just, I want to hurry up and get the knight's edge. Uh, I thought you could make the knight's edge currently. No, we need Muramasa. Gotta fight Squidalon. Wait, which one is the Knight's Edge? It's the one you get when you craft Blade of Grass, Muramasa, Knight, uh, B Light's Bane, and the uh, Volcano together. Spoods, how did you manage to space these two separate housing districts just perfectly apart? They count as two separate villages. So, uh, Jimbles, I just got one of the achievements I was missing. Oh. Dead man's chest? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Is this been over home? Nope. All right. We can teleport to the ocean now. Which ocean? Uh... That ocean. Yeah, I'm currently at it if you want to teleport to me at a wormhole potion or something. Holy crap. Jimbles, you have my stream open, right? Uh, yes, but it's not on top. There we go. Look at how far out I made it. Oh, dang. Is that all ice biome? Yeah, a, lo a very large chunk of it is. Wow. There you go, Spoods. I took an extra sip just for you. You got a freebie. <laughs> Don't expect another. <laughs> Hydration is key. Don't worry, I got plenty of channel points. They ain't going anywhere. Uh, actually... Jimbles, the ice mirror might teleport you faster than the uh, magic mirror does. That's probably not a large difference. If, large difference if it does. I don't know if I'm placeboing myself into believing that, but like, as far as I'm aware, they're functionally identical. Wait, uh, Spoods, are you at home? Maybe. Who's asking? Me. Spoods, come over here real quick. Uh, on the count of three, magic mirror, okay? Mm -hmm. Isn't it gonna be delayed because of Discord? Uh, 
I don't think so. I don't think Discord's operating on that much of a delay. No, oh, worth a shot. Okay. On on three, okay. Three. <laughs> One, two, three. That wasn't delayed, but that that seemed to be about the same amount of time. Hey, Spoo, do you want to go cave diving with me? Uh, actually, give me two seconds. I need to buy a ton of bullets. When are, when are we planning on doing Skeletron? I think that's kind of looking at right at the end of the night. Gotcha. I mean, it's glad to be proven wrong. Don't don't doubt that. We 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 ha we have a rough estimate. Our crew of traveling hot tub salespeople. <laughs> Our wares are delicious. Don't forget the revolutionary cold tub, though. That's a new one. <laughs> I think Romeo liked it very much. Juliet and him are probably... Yeah, let's not get into that. <laughs> Customer confidentiality and all that, you know? I like how you two were like, let's go cave diving, and then you found what I'm working on immediately stopped. Honestly, uh, I guess... We don't have a clock, do we? No, we've been to hell, but we did not loot one. You're telling me that Maddie spent all that time in hell and didn't bring back a clock? I always forget that they're actually useful. Because I'm so used to, like, I'm... My main memory of, like, the clocks from Terraria is them being completely and utterly useless from, like, absolutely ages ago in Pocket Edition. No, that's fair. I'm just giving you hassle. Just giving Maddie the hassle, Hoff, huh? The, uh, like, 20-foot tall one? Yeah, the 12-foot tall, realistic hassle, Hoff. From Sponge- from the Spongebob movie? From the Isn't good Spongebob movie? That? Uh, I don't think he currently he owns it. give it away? I, th I think he sold it. Okay. I remember him being kind of put off by it, so... I mean, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you make this? Uh, we needed to. What do you mean you needed to? <laughs> See, that's the other... Th there's another example right there proving that critics don't know what they're talking about. Sp the Spongebob movie is not a 5 out of 10 movie. I don't care what they say. I only got 5 out of 10? That hurts. Something like that. Let me check real quick. I gotta be somewhere safe though. I really like the uh, blizzard texture in the uh, snow biome. I've said it before. I'll say it again. The ice biome is just the best biome. Like this, right. this blizzard effect gives off the same vibe as like being awake at like three in the morning, just looking out into the into You do the snow. realize it's currently three in the morning, right? Yeah, but it's not snowing for me. Is it snowing for me currently? I don't believe it is. No, it's just cloudy. Okay, it's a six out of ten, still. It's still lower than it should be. That's an- it's an 8 movie, let's be real here. You just can't beat the goofy goober scene. It's too superior to anything else ever produced. 
<laughs> it's one of those things where finest achievements. It's one of those things where you call it bad because it makes everything else seem bad by comparison. <laughs> <laughs> you have to call it bad for the safety of everything else. I saw an, I was watching a video about uh, Kingdom Hearts that was like uh, Organization 13 is bad for Kingdom Hearts because they're such good and endearing villains that it makes all of like anything else that they try seem bad by comparison. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry everyone else, you've been outclassed. Bop 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 Where's my version of, like, Terraria music? But the pauses are uncomfortably wrong. Long. Uncomfortably wrong. Yup. Terraria music, but I put it in the wrong time signature. Alright, people are gonna flame me for this. I hadn't found it until today. Megalovania and swing time. Slaps. Jimbles did a... Oh, what was it? There was a song that I was listening to. Um. Oh, wait. No, uh, I was watching a video about uh, Chrono Cross. A while back and uh, apparently Chrono Cross's battle theme is in like 9-8 time oh such a weird one it's in such like an odd time signature I mean uh, you could kind of count it as three three fours kind of or it might actually be a weirder time signature than that I want to say that it's 9-8 time but 9-8 is still odd. Spoods, did I lose you? Huh? Can I ask a quick question to you guys? Huh? You're musically inclined, right? I'd like to think so. Somewhat. It really depends on what you need. You gotta get the thing you'd say. No, not a web P, you stupid browser. Where's my JPEG? I mean, web P is still sent through Discord. Send a JPEG. I don't care, it's the principle. <laughs> Wait, do cobwebs <laughs> spread? Uh, they naturally regenerate. Huh. Interesting. Didn't know that. I heard somebody say in a video today, and I need to just double check. Oh, so, let me get into a safe house and then I'll check. Oh yeah, that's a forte symbol. That is? Mm -hmm. Okay. I heard somebody say that, I'm all like, is it? Because they weren't sure. Wait, what is this? Silent Hill F, the F they used is forte? Yeah, that's a forte symbol. Weird. I was wondering why, but then I realized now it's Silent Hill, but louder. So I was, I thought it was funny. Also, it turns out I found out Silent Hill 
F, or I guess Forte by this point, one that, uh, is the new mainline Silent Hill game. This is five. Oh, huh. that's five. Which is odd, considering that they said 1960s Japan, so I wonder if there's, like, some shenanigans that are going to be played out through that, but... This is still kind of on the speculative side, though, but from what people can understand, this is five. Interesting. And it will have something to do with the Sakura demo that got leaked on Twitter not too long ago. Alright, we have an ice pylon and a desert pylon now, too. Nice. How far into the ice biome is the, uh, pylon? About halfway. You know that really large ice... ice lake? Yeah, I think so. Okay, it's actually more like one-third of the way... two-thirds of the way through it. Like, the ice lake and the pylon are on opposite sides of the dividing... the halfway divider. Hmm. I don't know. I figure they're gonna do some weird shenanigans because the Sakura demo has like a straight up smartphone in it. It could just be that you, uh, mixed two things together and it's not actually F, like Silent Hill F, that's the one that's taking place in Feudal Japan. No, that's what it says in the description of the trailer, is 1960s Japan. Hmm. But then when you look at the monster design that got leaked for, so for the Sakura demo, then the very uncanny similarities uh, between the Silent Hill F trailer and Sakura. Interesting. I don't know. The big thing is we obviously don't have a lot of information yet, so we don't know what they're planning, but... That's just a theory. A game theory. I want to be able to say it with, like, the same, like, excitement that <laughs> Matt Pat can. I don't think it's illegal to say it with the same excitement. There's another word that I feel like would work better for that, but I can't think of it, so excitement has to be that. Enthusiasm? There it is. Uh, I've relocated the bill, the tavern keep, to sell them hot tubs. So we can get our favorite tavern keep in town. <laughs> We're selling the tavern keep hot tubs now? Oh, his name's Bill. Oh, does he have a surprise in store for you? Has anyone found Shimmer yet? Nope. Considering that you said we would know when we see it, I'm gonna say no. Wow, the, the ocean on this side just didn't have any chests in it, unless you guys all oh. know it. Well, I found why we don't have shimmer. We haven't found the shimmer. I thought it can occur on either side of the world. It only occurs on the jungle side. Ah. Uh. Hey, uh, I found another blizzard in a bottle. Oh, nice. We're going to need a jungle pylon now, too. Gosh dang it. We're running out of NPCs to run pylons. Speak <laughs> in the blizzard. Oh. Wait, there's a frozen status effect? Yeah. How long has that been in the game? Oh, uh, quite a while. I have never been hit by that status. 
I think it's an expert mode exclusive. Ah. I just got an ice cream dropped from an ice bat. I don't know if this is just people desperate to play a new game or anything like that, but... I've heard that people's thoughts on Overwatch 2, not entirely negative. Shocking. I mean, to be fair, the overall, like, overall mechanically, I've heard that, like, even just Overwatch 1 is pretty solid. It's just a matter of, uh, it's tied to Blizzard. And the community behind the game is kind of awful, from what I've heard. I mean, considering that three days after launch, the game started trending on Pornhub, I don't doubt it. It took three days? I thought it would take less. They had to crack the encryption on the models. From Overwatch 1 or 2? 2. two. You probably meant awful in a different way, but... Alright, fishing quest, what the heck. That's all that came to mind. Granted, I think a lot of fan communities are awful, but that's just me. Yeah. Except the Risk of Rain 2. Risk of Rain 2's community is pretty cool. It's just because cool people play that game. Terraria's is pretty cool from the little bits that I've seen. Jungle pylon. Ah. Spoods, do you put? Are you much of a fan of farming simulators? I've never played one. They never piqued my interest. When it goes on sale, I'm gonna gift. I'm gonna gift you a copy of Stardew so we can stream that at some point. You don't have to do that. It's a game that so I want to play with you two. Spoods, one of these days when you aren't looking, I'm gonna gift you Super Smash Bros. I don't have to do that. <laughs> you can't even gift. You can't even gift games on Switch. Hence why when Spoods isn't looking, I'm gonna sneak into his house and purchase it with my credit card. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the doppelganger to do it. Oh, we're gonna intro we're gonna introduce the stream to this lore. Oh, I don't know if this we're ready for that yet. <laughs> it's okay, we can start small. Like Kaisens. <laughs> no, we can't start with Kaisens. <laughs> no! I'm not, I'm not saying the title on stream for I, yep. the Maddie Band. <laughs> yep. That's like the worst place to start, but the issue is that's where it starts. <laughs> For anybody watching the stream currently or watching it as a VOD later on down the line and whatnot, here is your like three minute exposure to something that you probably don't understand. Probably never will. Hopefully never will. Probably never will until, until eventually we decide to explain the joke. That's what we're going to have to explain and release it as like a YouTube video, because I don't think Twitch would allow that one. I'm not going to lie, I don't even fully remember the origin of this. It is a very complicated theory. <laughs> There's a lot of unnecessary depth to it. It's the, it's, 
it's the same issue that you end up with, like, VTuber lores, where, like, every time somebody brings something up about it, it's just canonized immediately. Ooh, uh, hey Spoods, do you need an Ice Blade? It's a good sword. Depends. It's got a projectile on it. Well, we need it to forge a Zenith, don't we? Uh, not the Ice Blade, no. Really? Mind, but if you're if you're willing to part with it, I I have a few gold that I can give you in exchange. I also have a uh, two heart crystals currently sitting in my inventory, and some uh, ice mirrors if you want to switch your magic mirrors out for the fancier looking one. Turns out. Hmm. A lot of the stuff that you accumulate through the game recently really starts building up when you sell it to the merchant. Mm-hmm. You get a lot casually, of easy money that way. Casually sitting at 60 gold. Uh, one of the... Funny enough, one of the best sources of income for us right now is goodie bags. A full set of vanity... Uh, generally can sell for almost an entire gold, if not more. I know, right? Hmm. Just shockingly good. But there's the extra stuff, like... What you find in, uh, the jungle chests or other stuff. Like the extractinator thing is a solid oh, yeah. gold by itself. I just found a third glowing mushroom biome. I mean, we are in a large world. Not to mention there will be a couple. like two to three gold that a, that a jungle chest can just have in it by default. Mm -hmm. This is one of those games where money just accumulates pretty decently. Granted, I don't even have much of a method of selling stuff, I just sell the merchant anything that has a price stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> just True capitalist. I mean, just be sure that you don't sell, um... Be sure that you don't end up selling, uh, accessories. Everything that I don't want to sell is favorited. Mainly because accessories can be used for the, uh... What is it called? The uh, Ankh shield and the cell phone? Yeah, all those little ones that you're like, ah, oh, this would have been good right at the beginning of the game, but I don't need it currently. Like, immunity to poison? Great. Too bad I have, like, 400 health and poison doesn't affect me nearly as much as it used to. I'm grabbing a whole bunch of silt so we can run it through an extractinator. Did you ever get your, uh, copper, Jimbles? Uh, not enough. That's the other big thing, too, is the flipping blood moons. Mm, money. That's probably where most of my money has come from. I just got a shroomerang. There is a goodie bag down here. Hey, I got a shroom minecart. Now you can join the shroom cart gang. Shrew Mario Kart. <sighs> Jimbles, look at what look at what I'm looking at on stream here.
Do you see what happened here? That the house just filled in with lava. Like, house perfectly generated to fill with lava in only one room. Mm-hmm. I forget, can you actually make an above-ground glowing mushroom biome? Yeah, and it's pretty common practice. Is it just so you don't have a, uh, have the one NPC underground? Yep, and then easy glowing mushroom access, because shroomite armor. Gosh, I totally forgot about shroomite armor. Hey, Spoods, do you need a sandcastle bucket? <laughs> do you want to make the world pretty with a whole bunch of sandcastles? Do I ever. Hey, remember when the goldfish statue was, like, top-tier gold farming? good old days. The golden chest door trick. Oh. Yeah, the golden <laughs> chest trick. Worked even better with shadow chests, too. Oh, that's right. Terraria cave music kicks in. I just found two of those, like, abandoned mining huts back-to-back. -back. Nice. Any good loot? Uh, there was a cloud in a bottle in one of them. Which, if nothing else, is either easy money or if we end up adding, like, a fourth person or whatever, easy access to that. No pylon has a flaw. What? The way that the houses are constructed, the villagers accidentally get caught too far outside the pylon's range. 
Ah, fun. It's just a pit right next to the house, and apparently the NPCs love the pit. It's a good old family-friendly vacationing spot. Come on, kids, we're going in the pit! <laughs> Could you imagine how terrifying it would be if, if just one day your your family was like, Come on, kids, we're going to the pit. <laughs> just, like, wakes you up at, like, 6 a.m. Come on, it's a 14-hour drive, we gotta get going. Trip correctly, you can hit popular forest destinations and side stops like the place where you did it to him. <laughs> I agree with the pit being in Florida. <laughs> I mean, where else would it be? All things considered. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, Arkansas. <laughs> Speaking of, this isn't like Florida or anything, but like, uh, States that have certain reputations, I guess. Energies. I read an article today that apparently there are 13 counties in Ohio that are reporting cases of zombie deer. Oh, fun. Heck yeah. I'm like, holy crap, Ohio's evolving. <laughs> Ohio is becoming its meme state. What if every time you said the pit, your voice was modulated and you weren't able to control it? <laughs> BRB, adding the pit to Maddie the Magical Girl lore. <laughs> it's where all of my failed experiments go. Okay, I think stream's back up. I got an ad, so I think so. Gosh. I actually need to uh, hide the game source again. Hide the but game sauce for shampoo. I got was the that about shampoo spits? I got an ad for shampoo. Mm. Dove. Now it's a Chips Ahoy ad. Okay. With the really creepy CG chip. Gosh. Who misses the stop motion cookie? Me. What do you mean, stop motion cookie? The Chips Ahoy ads used to use the stop motion cookie. Not this cursed CGI one. I mean, the Chips Ahoy ads just used to be stop motion. <laughs> the good old days. Also, I found out I didn't date myself. They still show the Tootsie Pop commercial. Oh, they still do, huh? They don't show it very often or on very many channels, but it's still shown. Got it. I'm not old yet. <laughs> uh, I totally forget. Uh, the illegal gun parts are only used in the crafting recipe for um. It's like a. Sand it's got a couple thing, right? of recipes. Uh, I think you also need it for the Mega Shark. Ah. Uh, and the at least flamethrower. And flamethrower. You, they might have changed Mega Shark up recipe in the last few updates, but last I checked, you needed the illegal gun parts. It's the sand gun, flamethrower, and Mega Shark.
Uh, did we want to... I guess it's a bit... Do we want to try to give uh, Skeletron a shot tonight? Yeah, I'm down. The snow pylon is acting up again. Yeah, we just need to move a new NPCs in over there. Right now, just the demolitionist lives there, and you need at least two NPCs to have a pylon active. What NPCs work with the demolitionist? Uh, right now, it currently does not matter. They, they don't have to be happy to run a pylon, they just have to be living there. Okay, I'll activate the pylon, but I'm not be happy about it. <laughs> Hey, that one person that built you a home and you just protected you from, like, hordes of waves of zombies, like, wants to travel here. Think you could activate the pylon real quick? Fine! Guess I can do that. Do you think we can do this in, like, less than half a night? Skeletron um, itself? Yeah. No. But we can use the rest of the night to set up an arena. Fair point. I can get some beds so that we can make the day go faster. Yeah, that's a good that's call, a actually. Idea. Uh, we have a juggle loom. pylon now, too. Nice. Oh, we still need to make the loom, but it's easy. Oh no, there is a loom. We have a loom, yeah. I, I made a- I went and found a loom a while ago. Jim is looking out for us. I mean, I was really just looking out for myself, but I'm glad you took it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Jim was looking out for themselves by proxy looking out for us. <laughs> we have 2,400 cobblestone or stone blocks. Not enough. We need more. Wait, we do they actually have... stack that high? Mm hmm. Yeah, they stacked them uh, almost. One less than 10,000. I've forgotten the number. It's 99.99, right? Thank you. For just a low, low price of 99.99. Wait, Jimbles, we don't have anyone living here. What? Really? Uh, go ahead and assign two NPCs, like a uh, painter and die trader, I guess. We don't really need them at the main base. We have party girl somewhere? Uh, she's living with the... Don't, don't reassign her. She's currently making sure the ocean pylon works. So, the uh, painter. Painter and, and die trader. Die trader. These two should get along. In theory, yeah. Hey, uh, can you two stay away from the house for a sec? to So we can move the uh, villagers over? Yep. Look at this fancy lakeside estate that these guys got going on. There's the desert one. The arms Pro dealer in the nice. Pro tip, the only reason I build pylons is for fishing quests. So I always put them next to water. <laughs> oh, she's in denial. Oh. These digs are great. Loving the personal space. What? DeAndre the arm stealer? I don't have a crush. I don't. Aww. Uh, back when we played this on mobile, for some reason I thought that the arm stealer loved the, the nurse, but the nurse hated the arm stealer. <laughs> I mean, you never know. It might have been retconned into existence. I don't know. My favorite couple is still Goblin Tinkerer and Mechanic. This is what I'm talking about. Privacy, you know. The desert is a secluded and great area for business, if you catch my drift. You think Caitlyn the nurse ever, you know, checks me out? Okay, they are really cute together, not gonna lie. It's a Terraria power couple right there. Ice pylon works, no Maddie. Yeah, I moved the uh, two people over. Yep. Okay, we have five functioning pylons. Although that desert one is kind of the desert one is a bit finicky. 
the desert one works, it's just like, it's so close to the forest one, it's not really good for much. Uh, Jimbles, do you have wormhole potions? Uh, I do. I'm just not on a team. Oh, yeah. Server crash kind of resets that. We can't break dungeon brick currently, can we? Oh, we can! Is it time for the uh, tried and true method of building a house like inside the dungeon so that we can <laughs> sleep and respawn there? I mean, it's worked for us in the past. Now this will be expert mode Skeletron, not Skeletron. Right. Uh, so he will have extra attacks. One person gets a bed to themselves, the other two have to share. Got it. I mean, you say that, but don't the, uh... You don't have to have your own bed in Terraria, right? That's what I said. Two of us have to share a bed, one of us gets a bed to themselves. It's this two is people to a bed. Mm -hmm. That's ash, not silt. Gosh dang it. That's also ash. Gosh dang it. Uh, Jimbles, if you want to teleport to me, I've got 164 silt on me. I'm looking through all the chests real quick, just to make sure I can grab all of it that I can. Because I know I've grabbed some and then just auto-stacked it, and I don't know where it went. Jimbles, I'm running it all through the extractinator that I picked up. <laughs> I'm just- I just need the copper. Well, I got the copper. <laughs> or at least some of it. Can you take some of this other ore with you? probably super super loud on stream i'm so sorry about that punch the mic punch the mic that's exactly what happened i accidentally just punched my mic the old man's just over here vibing and we're just tearing down parts of the dungeon don't mind us we need this The dungeon guardian can't spawn if there's no if there's no dungeon for him to guard. <laughs> Classic. Mining pod tactics. Where's my vein miner for Terraria? It it's exists. Called the, it's called the mining pod. Good old drill containment unit. Wait, can you? Where's my vein miner for any pickaxe in Terraria? Can you craft, uh, platforms out of these bricks? Yup. That is incredibly helpful, actually. Jimbles, you should, uh, lower that by one.
Imagine Skeletron just looking at us from the ether, destroying the top of the dungeon. What are they doing over there? What in tarnation? <laughs> what in tarnation? I like to imagine Skeletron is very, very country. <laughs> what do you think his favorite band is? Uh, Poor Man's Poison or George Strait. No in between. That's fair. I accept that. Jimbles, how far? Jimbles here. 150 blocks. I, uh, I reserve the right to start chucking dynamite around during this fight if we get to the point where we look like we're losing too badly. We're gonna need at least two more layers to this fight. To this boss arena. <laughs> you call throwing dynamite around a martial art? <laughs> It's a fine one at that, too. That's from... what? Isn't that from Fist of the North Star Spoods? What? The, uh, you call throwing dynamite around a martial art. Um, I don't actually know. But you know the thing I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Uh, let me check. I think it's Fist of the North Star. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. I know my... What era of anime did that come out in? That's a decent... 80s. 80s anime? Pretty sure. Why? Hmm? Oh, it's just so I can get the measurements right. Oh. I was like, Jimbles, why are you enclosing this? 1984 to 1987. Hmm. Yo, you guys hear what happened to uh, freaking Captain Sparkle's Revenge? No, what happened? It has the wrong audio. What? What do you mean? YouTube bugged out, and now the. Like, Captain Sparkle's released a video on it earlier. It has the wrong audio now. Huh. Like, wrong How many audio blocks? in what way? Uh, it has a remix version, one done by Tryhard Ninja, but it's no longer the original audio for Revenge. It's now a remixed version. Jimbles, how many blocks are you going apart from these? Uh... Nine. If you the one you're standing on to the one below it should be nine and then it's hundred and fifty long. Well let's hope Grammarly, I counted that I don't right. Care. That's nine, right? That's eleven. What do you mean eleven? From that, from this platform down, this is not 11. Uh, the way that the ruler has it marked out, it's 11. Right there. But that looks, that looks thinner than the other one does. I'm just going with the ruler, what the ruler says. I think the ruler might be lying to you. Wait, no, that, I, I did get that block basement wrong, that's 8. There we go. That one's nine. Wow. Nothing sparks hope than the senior YouTube engineer saying, I've never seen anything like this. I swear, the collision boxes on palm trees in this game are so odd. Uh, 
Oh yeah, did you two want, uh, fancy magic mirrors? Yes. That's so wild. How did that happen? <laughs> like the senior YouTube engineer said, no one knows. Spoods here. Thank you kindly. Jimbles, come here. Working on it. I don't have fast movement. Jimbles. Better mirror. Old mirror can go in the pig. Is the house been built yet, or...? No house yet, but we have a platform. Fair. Uh, Spoods, how many hearts are you at? Uh, 280. Jimbles, how many are you at? 320. Hey, uh, Sp Spoods, come here. Wait, all of them? Take it. Are you sure? I'm already capped. <laughs> oh. Alright, don't forget, Grappling Hook is your friend, and if you have Shield of Cthulhu, Dash is your friend. Should put Wait, you can- on. You can control click to put stuff in your trash? Mm-hmm. How have I never noticed- How have I not known this? Thank you for telling me that. Just be careful that you don't accidentally control click when you mean to shift click. That was yeah. the wrong button. <laughs> I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Oh, I'm not tabbed into the game, that's why. If I had a nickel for every time I accidentally used the magic mirror instead of my sword, I'd probably be able to buy 15 extra copies of Terraria. <laughs> Oddly specific, <laughs> but I support it. <laughs> Thank you. Can't make blue brick wall? Why not? I mean, you could just take a hammer to the wall that's down here. I could, but that's a lot of work. Jimbles, do you like my pet? Shark. Do you like my entourage? <laughs> <laughs> the pets don't actually do anything, do they? Uh, light pets shed light, and the one also does aura detection, but other than that, no. Standard pets do nothing. Other than look good. Spoods, do you like my pet? Indeed, we do. Alright, we got a house set up. It's bedtime. But, like, not that kind of bedtime. Like, darn. Like, you, you, you get what? I get it. I get what. Oh no, there's not enough room in here for two beds. It's a very fixable problem. Jimbles, do you have, um, the stuff to make, um, what's it called, uh, bonfires? Bonfires or campfires? Campfires. Yes, I do. Do we need I more? I have 150 torches on me if you need them. I've got 190. Torches should not be an issue currently. I just added an extra layer on top of this, by the way. Good old pots. I mean, there should already be campfires set up. All we're really missing is a heart lantern and a star in a bottle. feel so slow. Hey, uh, anyone want some ice cream? 
What flavor? It's I it's ice cream flavored apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's a medium improvement too, not bad. I didn't know that it actually had tooltip for that though. <laughs> what? I didn't know that it had a tooltip for what flavor it was. No, it doesn't. It just says eat it before it melts. Uh from the picture, it's vanilla with fudge and a cherry. It's it's basically a banana split without the banana. You guys just set your spawn point, right? Yep. Oh, no. Slacking. Alright, who wants to touch the... That sounded wrong. Who wants to wake and... Touch. Do I have my bow? Yes, I do. Okay. Poke the old man. I'm poking him, but he's not doing anything. Caress him I'm softly in the moonlight. Oh, there he goes. You didn't do it soft enough. He sensed it. Don't forget, oh, you gotta right. take out the hands. hands yeah, I was about to say, doesn't this... Doesn't uh, expert mode or master mode or whatever we're on function closer to how uh, Skeletron Prime does? Yeah, if you don't take out the hands, he has a crap ton more defense. It's not like my bullets are gonna do more than one damage to the head anyway. Why is he targeted on me specifically? Are also, targeted doesn't on he all get like us? hyper aggressive? Once you take out both of his hands? Uh, he gets noticeably even more aggressive, but not quite as aggressive as if you try to fight him in the day. Ooh, there I go. Why was this old man cursed with Cthulhu's disembodied skeleton? That's a pretty rough curse, to be honest. What knowledge... What knowledge did the old man have that cursed him with this? Bone knowledge? Was the old man a chiropractor? <laughs> Bone PhD. Oh, they gave him a projectile? Uh, yep, that's that's his expert mode thing. You may be able to dodge a projectile, but can you dodge this? Dang it. Just as my potion sickness wore off as well. Okay. 30 seconds. Full dodge mode. Go! Evasive maneuvers! The skulls always go in a circle. They're not super hard to dodge as long as you know how to circle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Is he gone gone or is he still here? Oh, he's, he's gone gone. gone. Shit. That's especially bullshit because I was still alive. That was my bad. Nah, he was, he was gone right before you respawned. Oh well. We can sleep through the bed and try again. Slep. Can you sleep through the daytime? Oh uh, yeah. It just speeds up time. Although Look I think we do go. have to be away from the the dungeon for the old man to respawn. Well, yeah, but yeah, he won't respawn until comes. tomorrow morning anyway, so... Yep. When daytime comes, we'll just wander off. You could go restock and whatnot. I use this to do angle quests. Yep. Hey, you wanna know the, uh, cheese strat that we can totally do? The bunny bomb again? 
I very vaguely remember this strat, but that's not what I was meaning. You guys lost your minds when I showed you that. That was hilarious. It was the thing of, like, you stack a couple hundred of them, right? Yeah, you stack as many explosive bunnies as you can make into a pit. You let the boss run into it. And it just demolishes their health bar. Mm-hmm. Like, I think as it one-shot Eye of Cthulhu when we tried to fight it. We were, like, all gearing up and whatnot, and I was like, yo, check this. Explosion. Not only that, we also overkilled it massively, because didn't it have a ton of, um, like, bunny bombs left in the, uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, slime rain. King slime's gonna spawn. Oh, fun. He'll spawn right before the day ends, though, so... We'll have time to get Skeletron. Uh, well, let's. Away from the I was about to say, let's move away from the dungeon. But uh, if we wanted to get really cheeky, we could. Uh, since we have a valid room here, we can move the nurse, the nurse here. Might as well, honestly. Why are some of these on fire? Uh, my imps. I forget, how do you fight the Slime Queen? Uh... Carefully. The Slime Queen is a lot like the Slime King, except she summons a lot more dangerous enemies. And she can fly in her second phase. Hmm. Okay. Fortunately, the old man doesn't actually show up. On mini map. I will go back. He has not returned yet. I like how someone joined was like, hey, you can shift-click items into your trash and then left. Fantastic. They're just here to help. Joins chat, gives helpful information, leaves, refuses to elaborate. <laughs> Before you say anything, yes, Jimbles, I did see that. <laughs> I was waiting. I'm waiting. Hey, I got another one of the uh, Halloween uh, paintings. Nice. I just got a bloody machete. That is actually a lie. I got two of the Halloween paintings. A spoons won another throne melee. Yeah. 
There he is. Oh. Where is the King Slime? Over by Spirit tonight. Where are you? Uh, right. I'll be over there in a sec. Sorry, there was a pinky at the house that I wanted to get. <laughs> Can you blame me? It's a free, like, three gold. I am rapidly approaching your current location. Sweet, we got the the other pet slime. Have you already beaten it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I got the hood and the pants. Did anyone get the chest plate? I got the chest plate. I don't have a bag for him. It should be over here in the water. Nope. Yep. Don't have one. Well, we got one full set of ninja armor. This can bounce on enemies, right? Can we bounce on Skeletron to kill it? You can try. Whoops, that is the jungle pylon, not the uh, plains pylon. Get bounced on Skeletron. <laughs> man's back. Nice. Give me a sec, I'm, uh, fixing some stuff at the house. Are you two waiting on me for something? Sleeping. Sleeping through the day. A notion that I am all too familiar with. Instead of when you're walking, it's when you're sleeping. When you're sleeping. 
Dude, a nice comfy blanket and a hot chocolate sounds so good right now. Soon, it's gonna be time for me to crack out my big, uh, fluffy jacket. Night quickly approaches. Is it nighttime? Yes, it is. <laughs> what? This boots died. Oh, did... Fall damage, believe it or not. <laughs> we should probably remove all these gravestones, too. That's probably a good idea. I need to go get that gold back real quick. You running around dropping torches as well? Yup. It's a little bit hard to see without them, isn't it? Oh, we should move the nurse in too. We never assigned the nurse. <laughs> Alright, everyone away from the dungeon. Quickly. She's in. Everyone back to the dungeon. <laughs> Alright, who gets to poke the old man? I'll poke him. Are you ready to get poked? Poke that old man. Poke. I just realized, Jimbles, are you using a chakram? No, I'm using a, a whip. Spoods, are you using a chakram? <laughs> you wanna know what would be, uh, fantastic right now? That I always miss whenever we start a new Terraria world? Hmm. Horrified bullets. <laughs> I missed not having to aim. I forget, Luminite bullets are the ones that pierce defense, right? Uh, I think they just pierce. Alright, hands are down. Get on this boy's bony ass. Alright, watch out for the skulls, they do a lot of damage. Jimbles, what is your skeleton rating of Skeletron? He's a solid 7 out of 10. Iconic. Crap. That's it, just keep flying in a straight line. <laughs> I will be rejoining the fray shortly.
Hey. Nice. Second tries the charm. I didn't die that time. Neither did I. Die. High five. <laughs> I forget. Jimbles, were you going for a magic build? I'm going summoner this time. Hey, ninja. What's up? Dude, Fortnite ninja? He's here? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, the uh the bone glove is the um it's an accessory. Yeah, it makes all your melee attacks shoot a projectile. Much better than it used to be. No, it's just you know it's means. just us three. That's what I'm talking about. Does this work with whips? Oh, it works with whips. That's kind of terrifying. Uh, goodbye... I uh, guess... Rocket boots? No, the double jump. Rocket boots are better. I got rid of my double jump, too. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go find me my Maramasa. Let's go get this Maramasa. Uh, make sure that I want you to wait. The table, so wait. Uh, don't go in yet. Uh, you want to dump your money? Oh, I got a piggy bank right here. Oh yeah, you have a money trough, don't you? Mhm. Mm wait. Sorry. I'm gonna just steal that from you real quick. No, just go for it. Open it near you for that reason. Wait, I have a sword that shoots two projectiles now. <laughs> oh, we gotta get this painting. Oh, that's... Oh, I picked it up. Here you go. Throw. <laughs> oh, we already oh, got a spike a ball. Name. Skellington J. Skellingsworth. We got a pit trap and a ball spike right after it. Hello there. Hey, howdy, hey. Nope, gold key. Oh, water candles. Nice. Yep, I grabbed one as well. Hey, Spoods. Already? Holy frick. I got good luck when it comes to dungeons. What yes, did you find? Fine. I found food. I found Spoods' Mermas on first chest. Jeez. Also gotta find the Maddie's handgun now. Because if we're being completely honest, the um what's it called? The Phoenix Blaster is pretty broken against wall. Against wall. Flesh. Yeah. Oh, that's a mimic. Why can I not damage you? You are very clearly a mimic. You are bouncing around and... Wait, no, uh, use a gold key on it. That's a slime. That's one of the town slimes. Oh, it... It died. It died to the spikes. Plus, it was a normal chest. Oh, then may maybe not? What? Like, yeah, it's probably just a mimic, then. Wait, no, it ate one of my, uh, gold keys, though. There's a key down where I died. Right next to a chest, believe it or not. You head towards the jimbles. Time for everyone's favorite, uh, part of exploring the dungeon. Thanks for the follow, laughing gramps. What is it that you're looking for, Jimbles? Uh, a bewitching table. Oh, a bewitching table. And an alchemy table. Oh, hey, a clock. What about, what about your dungeon thingy? Are there any, like, summoner things from dungeon chests? Or... Uh, not as far as I know. That's apparently the first time that I've uh, ever 
been in a world where a party has been thrown. <laughs> which is, in fact, a lie. I don't know why the game hasn't given me that achievement before now, but okay. Well, hey, Jesus. Yeah? You want a magic missile? Eh. I want to cast Heavens. magic missile. You can't cast it. There's no target. I Just attacked cast it the darkness. The <laughs> Gosh, I watched this. Uh, I was watching a video uh, on Dark Souls 2. And the person that was streaming it, like, stepped away, and both of her co-commentators were like, Okay, D&D &D session. <laughs> okay, there and is so, a like, witching table I can see. I cannot reach it. One of, like, one of them was like, um... One of them whipped out, like, a scenario, like, immediately. And it was hilarious. And then chat proceeded to, uh, eat a table. As chat does. And also, uh, bite a, uh, tabaxi that ran the bar. I found the handgun. I got the shadow key. Oh, I also got one of those, too. <laughs> that gold coin is gone forever. Mechanic's been freed. Alright, everything we needed is done in the dungeon, I think. We can come back later. Uh, that is not true. We are missing a... Uh... We are missing one thing from gold chests here. We need a shadow key. Spoods and I both have one. Oh, really? Like I said, I have really good luck when it comes to dungeons. We both said that. I didn't hear it. Oh. Uh, time to undo my spawn. I think you'll enjoy what I've done with the house. Either that or you'll hate it. One of the two. I can't tell, other than the paintings. That- that's- that's what it is. It's the paintings. Big goth GF. Do pre-hard mode spiders have any decent drops? Uh, I don't think so. Then I won't waste my time. Stylist, though. That would be nice. I was looking, oh, but she's uh, not his this one. Can I get that a uh, shadow key off of you? Thank you. Time to reset my spawn up here. You do realize that you can re-right click the bed to unset your spawn, right? Well, yeah, but we also have a bed at home that I just set mine to. Do we? Mm -hmm. I placed it there ages ago. Oh, Maddie, I have your handgun. Oh. I'll meet I'm you currently down there. Uh, falling down to hell to go open some shadow chests. Yeah, I'll definitely meet you down there then. Here, time to kill him for his hat. I mean, sell him a hot tub. This friendly hot tub sells me, you know? Yeah. Gun. Jimbles, look at my pet. Sorry, I have my entourage is in the way. Nice. 
Do you want a shark? Nah, I, I got the mini tar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Stupid lava slime spawning lava in expert mode. Bullcrap. Wait, do they really? Yeah, when you kill them, they spawn uh, blocks worth of lava. I mean, it makes sense. Just annoying. Hey, uh, I found an obsidian rose. Already? No, I got it as a drop from an imp, actually. Hey, Spoods, you know how you're saying Magic Missile? Mm hmm I may or may not have already found its upgrade. I've forgotten that I, I got rid of the cloud in the bottle. <laughs> I forget, which one is the upgrade to uh, Magic Missile? The Flame Leash. Oh, the I found- lap. I found two of those. What is up with you guys just having, like, What, Spids? Sorry, I, I got distracted by something. Like, stupid lot. Hey, Spids, wanna hear something fun? Yeah. Wanna take a guess as to how many chests I opened in the dungeon? How many chests did you open in the dungeon? Two. One I got the, the thing we wanted both one times. With the, uh... One with the handgun. Red, can you please nerf Steam account? Uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> Appreciate. No, don't place a water candle at home. That's a terrible idea. No, it's not. Ooh. You know, even though I'm a even though I'm a ranged character, I do really like this weapon. I mean, nothing saying you have to be solely ranged. Uh, I found a uh, Sun Fury. That was a good one. I just dropped 69 silver. Nice. <laughs> Alright, we have a clock. I wish that I could, like... I wish that I could do the Hollow Knight, like, desolate dive to go down the elevator faster. Yeah, there are no items that directly are for summoner in the dungeon. Weird. Until you get the frost key, at least. Yeah. Well, that's that's a sentry, I think. The sand is it's the desert key you want these days. Um, didn't know. I mean, both are good. I would happily take either. Nah, it's <laughs> the uh, the crimson key is the one that you need for melee. Vampire anyway. knives. Or no, for ranged. No, it's vampire knives or melee. Piranha gun is the range. Vampire knives or melee, even though they're throw throwing weapons. Uh huh. That's kind of dumb. That's why they've always been so broken. I just got super lucky. Oh? I just crafted the Knight's Edge and it came out godly. Oh! Ho! Oh. Was it? Sorry, I was. Oh, alt tabbed. 
what happens, food. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. That's quite an update. <laughs> Ah, uh, hell. Now. Um, always. Wait, I have a worm Is it safe? Uh, well, kind of. As safe as hell can be. Wait, I don't have a worm hole potion. Put it in the chest. One second. Did you already hit the world border on the other side, Jimbles, or are you just hanging out? No, I died and it was quicker to wormhole to you than it was to fall down the elevator. <laughs> Crap, voodoo demon. Casually, what? accidentally summon the wall of flesh. Oh, man. Kill Spoods instantly, because Spoods isn't in hell. <laughs> Wow, that's kind of frightening. What? Currently sitting at 94 gold. Oh. I'm, s I'm sitting at 79, but it's all in my uh, piggy bank. Oh, yeah, mine's in my piggy bank too. It'd be very foolish to be carrying around 94 gold. I had a platinum, but then I spent a crap ton of it on pylons. Oh wait, I just got a golden squirrel. Okay, we have a platinum. Eh. Hey, if any of y'all catch a golden worm, let me know. Why? What does the golden worm do? Uh, it's got a new thing that it can do. Through Shimmer. Hmm. Which we still haven't found any of. No, but we at least know where to find it now. I was misleading both myself and y'all. Don't forget, when life gets tough, just gaslight yourself into thinking that it's the universe challenging you. Mr. Gibbs, we have our head. When life gives you lemons, make life take them back. I don't want your damn lemons. Get hey, uh, Jimbles, do you need a demon scythe? decided to give Cave Johnson lemons. You already have a demon scythe? Like, the, uh, spell demon scythe. Oh, the spell? Yeah. Um... Sure, I guess. I don't see why not. I mean, it's supposed to focus on whips, but I will happily take some extra types of damage. Inferno potion? Yeah, it summons a big ring of fire around you. That's gotta be new. No, that's been in the game forever. Really? It's just a really, really uncommon drop. Speaking of an uh, uncommon drop, uh, another potion that I found, I found the... Uh, the potion that puts the portal down for you to go back. Oh, recall potion. Not recall. Uh, potion of return. That's what it's called. Bone snakes once again proving that they're they are the worst. I don't see how you could hit on bone snakes. They're both bones and snakes. It. If they obeyed the laws of like this reality, I'd be fine with it. Not phasing through blocks, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Holy crap. The zoologist is selling a big mole pot. Oh yeah, that thing is fun. Is selling a what? A digging mole cart. It's a mine cart that lays new tracks and digs through the dirt. Hmm. The only caveat being you have to have the tracks in your inventory. 
also a question. I'll ask Jimbles first. Huh? Uh, dusty, royal, or black? Mm. I'm partial to royal, but black is good. You doing black? Oh, I, was, I thought you were asking which one you want. Uh, no, you, you, you. Uh, I'll take royal. Maddie, dusty, royal, or black? I don't know what this is. Don't it's color, it. color variance. That's. Uh, I don't mind either way. Jingles. Oh, hold on. There's a enchanted nightcrawler right here. Another one? I didn't even know that they could spawn like that. Sorry, Slime Mount, you've been replaced. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. I finally feel fast. <laughs> this is long overdue. I just killed Nightcrawlers. Oops. Don't worry, they're spawning all over right now. I don't get it. <laughs> is it the lanterns? I think it's both lanterns and the worms getting hit with falling stars. Uh... But I could be wrong about multiple things in that sentence. Oh, look, here's one right here. Get in the bag. Get in the bag. So what's their bait power? 25%. No, 35 like, wow, very they solid. Really, they really are just popping up, aren't they? Yeah, I don't so, get it. Jimbles, did you manage to get a voodoo doll? Uh, yeah, I've got a voodoo doll. I mean, if we really, really wanted to tonight, we could all pop a water walking potion and give it an attempt. I would be down for an attempt. I'd be down for it, I just need to dump my inventory. Whoa, what the hell? Jimbles, I found a fancy tree in hell. Gosh dang it, there is a, a thing in the dungeon for me. Oh, never mind. It's a hard mode thing. Cool, I didn't realize that uh, ashwood trees could actually grow in hell. Hey, how much bone do we have? Fish. You know what that means. Jimbles, how far away am I from the edge of the map? Uh, you're about three quarters of the way there. How busted it would be to give Terraria's map waypoints. Like, not even just, like, teleporting to waypoints, like, just having map, like, waypoints. 
I gotta go back to the dungeon, gosh dang it. What did you forget, Jimbles? I forgot that there is a whip you can get from free hard mode dungeon. Good luck, Jimbles. Oh, there we go. Hit the edge of the world. So, have I got some stuff? Where did all the cobwebs go? You just have a little pet mimic? Yeah. That's adorable. Do you want one? Foods, what do you mean you don't have a pet mimic yet? <laughs> messing what? <laughs> don't doubt my chest luck. Jimble. Yeah, more fish! I have no idea where they're all coming from still, but... Nor do I. Goodness, are they coming. Spoods, would you like a new melee weapon? I want to compliment your new sword, which you Maddie may not have seen yet. For you. Do you have room in your inventory? Yep. That's for you. Nice. It was well worth the platinum. Also, before you get concerned by me saying that, they were 25 gold apiece. Actually, wait, Spoods, what, um... What modifier does the, um... Sun Fury that I threw you have? Demonic. One of the uh, do you want one that's ruthless? No, I think I like the demonic one. Okay. Unless you wanted the demonic one. No, I just... I had... an extra one that I totally forgot about. Ooh. So I found a treasure magnet. Oh, you too. And a flower of fire. Ooh. They changed the yeah, sound effect on this. Gun. Oh, right, Maddie, you can see this now. Come here. Give me a sec. Jeez. Quite the overhaul. <laughs> Knight's Edge over here with a giant fuck off circle. Owl. 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 We're at 12 owls. <laughs> the Chutsi Pop Factory is coming along nicely. Alright, Bone Min. Should I? How fast does the handgun shoot? Pretty quickly. Nothing spectacular, but pretty quickly. Should we, uh... Should we go... do... wall? Uh, I gotta grab this stuff from the dungeon, then I'm ready. But yeah, like, Potions of Return are stupid useful. Especially for hell trips. I really just wish that they were not so... 
I mean, you can craft them, it's just expensive. Will my... Will me pressing H use restoration potions? Yeah. H is the heal key. Yeah, but like, how does the, like, what order does the heal go through in your inventory? I think it just picks the highest value. Because hmm. honestly, it might just be better for me to use restoration potions instead of uh, normal healing potions. Yeah. I would say so. I forget, there's no, um, like, search option in chests, is there? Nope. Skeleton, relinquish your bones to me. None of you would happen to have, uh, two more Antland mandibles, would you? I literally did it earlier. I think they got auto-sorted into a chest somewhere. Ugh, great. I'm too short, then. At least I think I'm too short. Sandgun is two, or is ten Antland mandibles, right? Oh, uh, you can always check with the, with the guide. Yeah, it's ten. Wait. Interesting. They took the mini shark out of the sand gun recipe. I don't think it was ever in the sand gun recipe. It was. Oh. Alright then. At least to my knowledge. Keep in mind that a lot of my knowledge of this game comes from the outdated, like, console ports and Pocket Edition. For my neutral special, I wield a gun. Alright, don't tell me I need to be at a demon altar to craft this whip. Ah, uh, I do not. Excellent. I forget, can you get, uh, antlion mandibles by going to the, uh, desert, like, underground? Yeah. Like the dangerous desert underground? Mostly sure. Because the sand gun is, like, really good. And if we're 
in hell I don't have to worry about making a mess. Oh, the Swift's range is huge. Sue just got both of the antlion mandibles Ooh. she needs from the first antlion. <laughs> nice. Spoods is over here like, how in the world do you two have such crazy luck? The secret is, we're cheating. <laughs> Dream luck. And anybody want a yo-yo? Hey, uh, does anyone want to, uh, sleep real quick so it can be nighttime? What does it need to be nighttime? Because I need to buy illegal gun parts. <laughs> you know what? That's a good enough reason for me. Do I have two banks? No. <laughs> Come on, Spoots, you can fit. Darn. Sad. One second. I think we have plenty of cobwebs still. <laughs> Time to make the fourth bed. We have, like, over a thousand cobwebs still. They're just somewhere. There they are. We need to find our, uh, topaz. Jimbles, you can't whip me on the bed. Ah! Sleeping over here. Jimbles, are you in bed? Yes. Can I get you two to help me find uh, two more topaz in our chests? I mean, they should all be in that one valuables chest. We got 20 right here. Is it nighttime? No, but now you have them. How can you tell when it shifts over to nighttime? We have a clock. What is it, 7.30, right? 7.30 or 8, one of the two. 
Oh. I didn't even realize that we could see the uh, time there. I thought we had to right click on the clock. Uh, if you want the precise time, you can. I think. There. Hey, Spoots. Huh? Can you use the pylon and teleport to the ice biome real quick? Neat. You can tell which biome they teleport to on the pylons. Oh, really? Yeah, the particle effect changes depending on which biome they go to. Hmm. Here, watch. Uh, I'll go to the beach. Oh. And when I come back to forest... And if I go to desert... Oh, that's really cool. So I forget, uh, wall isn't locked behind time gating, right? Not directly. Not like world clock time, but internal boss fight time, yes. I forget, Ebon Sand does more damage. Right? With the sand I'll gun? Double, I'll double check that for you. Yeah, uh, infected sand increases damage. Nice. I'm gonna collect a ton of Ebon Sand and then we can, uh... Head out. If you two want to meet me down there. Uh, do we all have water walking potions? Nah, but I don't know if I'm really gonna need it. Well, that's good, because we only have two. <laughs> I have one on me. Oh, perfect. Uh, it's better to just use it, because then you can walk on lava. Terraria nighttime music. One of you is gonna be, like, running off in this direction, and you're just gonna see a giant crater. I like how the stream is just me collecting sand. Hey Spoods, wanna craft craft a ton of Molotov cocktails? <laughs> still have all those cobwebs, right? Probably. Yeah. Hi, TTBK. Thanks for the hydrate. 
someone other than us did it? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and now Spoods is like, why don't I ever get thanked for hydrating? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rigged. <laughs> rigged. <laughs> it truly is rigged against you, isn't it, Spoods? I have found the cobwebs. I am the sand collector, collector of the sand. Jimbles, who is the Greek god of the sand? Poseidon. No, it's just us three. Ready to try a wall real quick before we end stream. Uh, yeah, one real quick. Do we have pinky gel? Like, we've killed pinky a couple times. We gotta have pinky gel somewhere, right? Uh, yeah. I think it's in that. Timothy. We do have pink slime. I'm like 90% sure. Found it. What are you making? Crap, we have more pink slime somewhere in the auto sorted. Found it. <laughs> Why can't I craft this? I have all the materials. Wait, no I don't? What? What happened to all my... Down, into hell we go. You want to know what else would be really good to have for going down the elevator? The portal gun. And the only reason why? The portal gun uncaps your falling speed. Apparently can't craft Molotov cocktails? Why? Rigged. We have some B-nades, though. That much I do know. Gosh, I really hate the, uh... Someone bringing water down with them?
Oh, I totally forgot. Uh, how do you make a Phoenix Blaster? Uh, Hellstone Bars and the okay, handgun. Hand Oh, uh, the voodoo doll is in the gold chest by the demolitionist. Dang, we don't have enough hellstone to make a, uh... To make a phoenix blaster. Which, uh, gold chest by the demolitionist? Uh, the one closest to it. Got like it. in his room. Down we go. For like the twelfth time this stream. I like how the Mimic Pet just, like, rockets after you. Don't leave me! Blasts off. Hello there. Maybe we should, uh... Do we have a hole through the building? Yeah. Yep, that's what I was working on. Okay, I'm not gonna use the handgun, I'm gonna use the mini shark. And the sand gun. Are we ready? Uh, uh, give me a little bit less than a minute so I can get rid of my potion sickness, then yeah. What's the key bind for all potions? Uh, B. B. Oh, piss. Good job, Smoots. <laughs> Let's just block this off. <laughs> Smoots, you got wormhole potions? No. <laughs> you gotta do the fall all over again. That's the punishment for dying, is that you have to go all the way back down the elevator. Oof. Truly a fate worse than death. The uh, Maddie items to keep on the lookout for, uh, Magma Stone. You need it to create the Tire Spark Boots, and you already have a Lava Charm. I actually, it's, that's it, just Magma Stone. That's all the, uh, that's the last item you need for Terra Spark Boots from Hell. I thought that you don't need a Magma Stone if you've got the charm. Because they uh, thought that no, you crafted you a both. stone into the charm. Nope, you need both. Really? Mm hmm. You need Even Magma Stone, redundant? Lava Charm. Uh, no, they do different things. Uh, Magma Stone, Lava Charm, and. Oh wait, no, I'm just- sorry, that's my bad, you're right. I'm thinking of using Shimmer to trans- transmute it. Now I've got- I don't have a Lava Charm, I've got a Molten Charm, which is the, uh, upgraded one. Yeah, that- that works. You can use that. Spoods is approaching rapidly. Are you ready to fight Flesh Wall? Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna throw it. Any objections? Go for it. I missed. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, he's coming from this side? <laughs> Everyone frantically mining because we didn't prepare for him coming this direction. I forget, do they all share health bars? Yeah. Great. You got this, Fruits. You got this. I don't have a wormhole potion. Uh, Maddie and I both do, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah. This is why we always build the hell bridge. <laughs> or at least we should mine out the houses. Yeah. Look, we got plenty of stone. I'm currently carrying a 2600 stone. Yeah, so why didn't we build a bridge? We wanted to do it quick so we could end stream and go to bed. Uh, I think. I mean, we're, we got pretty close. <sighs> Wait, I just realized. Oh wait, my window size is too small. Is it time to begin construction on the Hell Bridge? I mean, if you want to do that tonight, or if you want to do it later. I mean, I don't mind either way, honestly. Eh, yeah, why not? Just screw it. I mean, we don't have to actually finish it tonight. Well, the guide's back, so there's definitely... We need to find another voodoo doll to be able to attempt it again. Yeah, I know that, but they're not horribly uncommon. Are we gonna try to make this out of platforms, or are we just gonna make a solid bridge? Does it matter? Uh, not too terribly, no. My entourage grows. <laughs> Jimbles is playing the build that makes them the popular character. Finally. I'm not gonna lie though, we did we did a decent amount of damage to it. All things considered. So if we get a straight shot, then we should get it pretty good. Also, remember for future reference, the wall spawns in the direction you're facing. Really? Mm hmm. I was not, not aware not, of that. Yeah, not which side of the world you throw it on. I thought it was just random. right in front of the direction you're facing. I feel like let's just get that squared out of the way just in case we don't put all this effort into building the bridge just for me just to go the wrong way. Yeah. Hey Spoods. What do you think of my hat? It's a very pretty hat. 
Burb hat. Burb hat. I kind of wish that you could make tracks, like, minecart tracks that doubled up on themselves. So that For you what could purpose? Just, like, I meant, uh, double backing on themselves. Uh, okay, okay. Stupid fish kid. Stupid friggin' fish kid. There's just a, uh, there's a shadow chest over here that never got grabbed. Huh. Nice. I don't have the key, though, so... You want to know, like, I legitimately don't think that the Bone Serpent would be anywhere near as annoying if it didn't have so much health. <laughs> like, you have to admit, 600 HP from a normal enemy that can just spawn and then charge through blocks at you out of nowhere. But it's big. Got a, a bone serpent kite. Heck yeah. And of course, the instant that I kill one, another one shows up. Of course. Why would it be any other way?
Uh, Spoods, I just realized, uh, mm -hmm. we need you to make a new house. Kind. For what purpose? The mechanic. Oh, yeah. She's currently up on one of the floating islands. Where does she go? A mechanic and goblin tinker. <coughs> Sorry. A mechanic and goblin tinker work really well getting underground pylon. So as long as we put them anywhere underground. In cavern, specifically. What depth is cavern? Uh, it's when the background changes to be like purely cobblestone. Hi, and yes. I do, Bon. Usually I have it in my tags, but uh, my tags are kind of being stupid. Well then, Chloe, nice to meet you. I'm going to go find the Shimmer. Ah. I'm not gonna lie, I actually totally forgot that I put that in my Twitch bio. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I'm a bit rusty on Terraria myself, but uh, my two friends here, Jimbles and Spoods, are pretty knowledgeable about it. Would you, would you say that you're knowledgeable about it, Spoods and Jimbles? About Terraria as a whole? I'd say, it's, I'd say it's spent too much time on the wiki to not know a thing or two. Ah. Uh, Maybe not three. I can barely count that high. Jimbles, you're not drunk. I can't count regardless, you know this. I to like I totally get that. Like I'm I'm out to my immediate family, but uh like my I'm still not out to my extended family and we see my extended family around the holidays, so I totally understand that. Man, how far out did I make it just legging it from wall? Leg. <laughs> I am leg. I am leg. Man, I really need to... Jimbles, do you know any of the, uh... Do you remember at all how any of the setup for a Discord server goes? Uh... Parts of it. I've only done it like twice, but I could definitely. If I started doing it, I would start remembering it. 
thinking about setting up the server. Yeah. I was gonna do it as a... Yeah, nice. But yeah, I was gonna do, uh, like, some sort of, like, grand unveiling or whatever when I hit 100 followers, but, like, at the same time, it's like, you know, I'm not gonna be that person that's just like, nope, I'm holding this hostage until I get that point. Mmm. You might as well get it started beforehand anyways. Yeah, exactly. It's just, a, it's a sort of... It's less of a, you know, like, celebration of hitting 100 followers, and more of just a, uh... I need to keep track of all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I stole it from a video game. <laughs> And you can probably guess which video game I stole my name from. Where is it? Where are they hiding it? Hey, Maddie, quick but stupid question. Your client was updated to 1.4.4 when you made this world, right? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I, I'm 99% sure it was. How many uh, trans girls do you think are gonna name themselves Bridget after the Guilty Gear character? A lot. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you just gotta try names on for size. This name too big. Yeet. How does the uh, dog in a boot meme go, Spoods? Boot too big. He boot too big for he got bang feet. <laughs> I've only, I've got very like tertiary knowledge of Guilty Gear. I just know that, uh, with Strive, they revealed that, uh, Bridget is trans. And so the representation continues. Uh, Maddie is short for Madeline, and I stole it from, uh, from Celeste.
Most of my uh, memories of playing Terraria are of playing the old Terraria Pocket Edition. Ah. Highly, highly recommend Celeste. It's a fantastic game. Funny mountain climb game with strawberries. No, nah, not funny mountain climb game. Injury but calming f mountain climb game. <laughs> Honestly, I might stream some Celeste at some point. It's a lot of, like, even if it's just, like, modded Celeste, it's a lot of fun. The, the game's mechanics are really good. Honestly, I'm surprised you haven't already. Honestly, I'm really surprised that I haven't as well. Plus, uh, it'll give me a chance to, uh, flex my, uh, voice acting muscles more. Uh, I have not ever played modded Terraria. I'm pretty sure that Spoods and Jimbles have played Calamity. Funny enough, I have not. Really? I have only played vanilla Terraria. Really? Mm-hmm. That's really odd, because I could have sworn that you... Like... I could have sworn right. that you've been like, Hey, we should do Calamity at some point on multiple occasions. Like, it's a lot of fun. Maybe... I know I haven't played it, but I might have recommended it just from, like, watching other people play it. Mm. I've watched my my kid brother play it, and it looks pretty decent from what I've seen him do of it, but... I've heard that it's got some weird balancing issues, but so does standard Terraria, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's something you're used to anyways. Plus, from what I've seen and heard, Calamity music slaps. Yeah, holy crap. That's one thing that I do know about Calamity, is that its soundtrack slaps. Big Crab. Big Crab! That's probably my favorite scene from Calamity. Oh, uh, <coughs> you have to... You have to do Calamity through a T-Mod Loader, don't you? Yeah, but it's... it's not that difficult. When are we gonna get a Steam Workshop version of Calamity? Why can't I find any gosh dang shimmer? Mm. I am- I am literally halfway through the world and I haven't found any. So, Calamity, like, boosts the, uh... Like, it adds in a ton of new stuff, right? Oh yeah, crap ton of post lord content. Is it mainly post Moon Lord content, or is it? It goes the entire progression of the game. Okay. It just Basically happens. Basically, a second Terraria by this point. Mhm. Mm it just also happens to add a crap ton of stuff to do after you defeat Moon Lord. Spoods, have you played Calamity? It's in pieces. Not extensively. Yeah, T mod loader got added to Steam. I just haven't. I haven't messed around with it extensively. I don't I don't know it as well as I know like Forge. And even then I don't really know Forge that well. Spoods is the one that does most of our Minecraft mod pack stuff. Spoods is IT. <laughs> Spoods, would you consider yourself to be the IT of the group? Yeah. Pre-Ive Cthulhu bosses. There's also Steampunk Skeletron, whatever his name is. Spoods, would you consider yourself being tech support a bad thing? Or a good thing? Sometimes. What? Sometimes. Sometimes you'd consider it to be a bad thing. 
Sometimes it's one of those things where it's just how, like, uh... It's especially <laughs> funny because uh, Spoods has run, at, like, actual IT over it, like... Like, actual tech support at our houses with our computers <laughs> from time to time. Spoods, the internet machine's broken. favorite parts though will will pick me up. One of the things that helps keep me going and whatnot. This nice older lady, uh this family friend, uh one uh, was having problems with the internet. And the way she described that she was having problems with the internet is she said the little rainbow icon isn't full. <laughs> hmm. I love that. That was probably my favorite thing. I swear, how is it that, like, power cycling is both the first thing that comes to mind whenever you try to do, like, tech support, and also the last thing that comes to mind when it's you having the issue with tech support? Galedalin Merchant. Oh, he's got the artisanal loaf. It's easy to give uh, suggestions to other people and difficult to give suggestions to yourself. You are your own worst critic. Mm. Since when can the skeleton merchant sell an aglet? It until it works. How I, looked at it. I mean, that's that's how old TVs used to work. You just slapped it until it worked. Also, hi, Nep Nep. Our friend Shane would love that username. Friend Shane would lose his mind at that username. Funny, <laughs> Shane is more invested in in, in, it, in it, 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 more invested into that world than I am, and yet I've played more of the games than he has. <laughs> I mean, hey, the anime isn't, it's not amazing, but it's not awful either. Also, uh, I'm doing pretty good. Up late playing some Terraria, streaming a bit longer than usual because I wanted. Up early, you mean? Yeah, I guess it is early because it's 6 a.m. in our time zone. <laughs> We've been streaming for what? Four hours? I don't know. Uh, cut out. <laughs> stream crash was about two hours ago, yeah. I'm gonna reach hell before I find Shimmer, and I'm gonna make sure Satan knows it. Wow. <sighs> you get to make wire art with the old TV's antenna just to pick up a signal. Okay, uh, so, uh, I guess night, Chloe, but also, uh, we do our Terraria streams, uh, usually once a week on Saturday. Uh, otherwise, I'm usually, uh, playing some other RPG or whatever for most of the other days of the week. So, uh, yeah. It'd be awesome to see you in stream, though. It's always nice having people come back after popping in. And yeah, we probably will end soon-ish, just because it's it's early, but...
<laughs> I'm curious as to how Terraria Dark Souls would work. Or are you just talking in terms of difficulty? <laughs> Thank you. You have dodge. What mod is this? That actually sounds incredible. Give me my, uh... Ter Terraria Bloodborne, where you have gun parrying and shit. <laughs> Spood, did you play a Terraria Bloodborne mod? Elden Ring, where you get to play as the victim. <laughs> Bone Snake, get over here, please. Bones. Bones. <laughs> One to four players. Nice. That's actually pretty cool. Spoods, did I ever tell you that somebody managed to mod Bloodborne gun, par gun parrying into uh, Elden Ring, like within a month of the game being out? I want you to know that this whole time that I've been in hell, I have not found a single, um, I have not, not found a single demon. voodoo demon. Ugh. Start of next stream is just us grinding for voodoo dolls. <laughs> isn't, random question, isn't there a Terraria graphic novel? Yeah. That's, like, yes, being is. made currently? Uh, they just released part four, I believe. It's... Part one is only just shipping, but part four has been released to be bought. Your brother bought some, man. Yeah. I wonder if it's actually any good. I'll tell you when my brother's copy shows up. <laughs> Oh wait, uh, sorry, give me a sec, I will read your message in a moment. Souls are used to make stuff, drop on death, <laughs> yeah. Can you actually, like, sit at the craftable bonfires in that mod? So it's kind of like an adventure map situation. Or whatever the equivalent is called in Terraria. I don't know if they're still called adventure maps in Terraria.
But yeah, like, I'm a huge Souls fan, so I might have to take a look at that on my own time. Jimbles, how far along the world am I in the overall map? Uh, you're about a quarter of the way to the right. Do you think that that'll be enough distance for Wall? I mean, we definitely went less far than that when we had a pretty good chunk of his health taken out. I should really map one of my uh, mouse buttons to the uh, heel. Oh, that's really cool. I forget, what is journey mode actually on? Like, what is journey mode? Pseudo creative I'm, mode. It's basically just creative mode. You have to get the item at least one time first, and then you have unlimited amounts of it after that. Huh. Interesting. Like things like torches, you need like, I think it's either 50 or a thousand, somewhere like that. And But then after that, you have unlimited torches that you can just access. Hey, uh, Jimbles, I just got a hot dog from a bone snake. Hot dog! I would assume that that's on- that that's through T-Mod Loader for that. That's through Team Mod Loader, right? It's always really funny with Souls games, because it's always like, you know, you've got the bosses that are like, you know, something, it's like, something, something, Soul Devourer of the Underworld, and it's like, relatively easy, and then you've got the, <laughs> you've got the boss that's just like, a normal human-sized boss that's just like, the captain, <laughs> and the captain is the one that's gonna kick your ass harder. <laughs> they follow the same rule as fantasy swords. <laughs> That's a good... <laughs> I I love that meme, Jimbles. The Throngler. The Throngler. <laughs> uh... Where is our nurse? There's you. Desert. Yeah, lives with the arms dealer. Oh. 
That helps get a good discount on those bullets that you like to use. Yeah, have you seen how much I've been shredding through my bullet count? Mm-hmm. To be fair, I do buy like 4,000 of these at a time, so... Have you been grabbing any Hellstone? Uh, no, I've just been building bridge. Got it. Uh, if you do so happen to grab any more Hellstone, I just grabbed a bunch of Obsidian. Ah. Cabin pylon set up. Oh dang, really? Spoods is on that shit. Spoods ain't get, gonna get caught slacking. That was a very, uh, large explosion of sparkles. got the uh, fox outfit and the uh, robot outfit. And I'm pretty sure that the fox outfit is supposed to be like... It reminds me of Tails. Two in the middle of something? Nope. Looking for shimmer. Ugh. Are you too good if we go ahead and end stream? Because it is late. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Wasn't actually that bad. Nice. You want your cringy YouTuber outro or not? <laughs> the these cringy these cringy intros and outros from you are just gonna become the staple of the Terraria series. <laughs> Your massive fire-breathing bird <laughs> wasn't that bad. I mean, sure, sure, Spoods, we can, uh, hallmark the series with you, uh... We're gonna have Spoods do the <laughs> intros and the outros with this cringy YouTube imitation. <laughs> we good now? Yeah. Punch it. And all right, that it looks like that's where we're gonna end off for today. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Make sure that you subscribe so you never miss an upload. We'll be back at it again later. Also, make sure to comment, tell us what you think, and leave a like. The algorithm really appreciates it. <laughs> or not. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Gosh. You really laid it on thick there, didn't you? <laughs> okay, uh, we can raid Toki. She's working on Violet's new model. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to see you again tomorrow for more Xenogears. And, uh, I guess, have a good one. <laughs>